Hello, my name is Eric Haddon and I am the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Laval Underground Surveys. In this presentation, we're going to be examining the features and specifications of our SC350 and 500 portable borehole camera systems. The SC350 and 500 are extremely compact, weighing slightly over 33 pounds. They're perfectly designed for carrying the system directly out to a remote worksite or monitoring well. The system comes equipped with either 350 feet or 500 feet of Kevlar reinforced double helixed coaxial cable. It's driven by a manually operated winch handle located on the back of the reel. The SC also comes with an adjustable handbrake to hold the camera in place at a desired depth. Survey footage is viewed via a 7 inch display monitor. The system includes a video out port for connecting larger displays in the field. Paired with the SC350 and 500 is the SC166 camera, the smallest diameter camera we make at 1.66 inches in diameter. It's ideal for boreholes between 2 and 10 inches or conditions where space is a concern, like operating with the pump in place. The camera features a stainless steel housing, high intensity LED lamps, and a wide angle broadcast quality down view facing camera module. While the SC166 is downhole facing only, its wide-angle lens provides high-resolution images of the side of the borehole in sizes up to 10 inches. The SC166 can also be used on our RCAM or DW systems as a backup camera or for smaller applications as small as up to 2 inches. As a base system, the SC350 and 500 do not come equipped with depth counting or a recording option. We offer two optional accessories for customers who would like to unlock these features. The first is a tripod with an included sheave wheel and a high pulse encoder. It's designed to make positioning the SC166 over the borehole significantly easier while also providing on-screen depth counting. The included encoder will take 100 measurements per revolution to ensure depth accuracy to within 0.05%. This footage mark is overlaid on the screen and can be included on survey recordings when paired with the optional DVR. The next accessory we offer for the SC350 and 500 is the touchscreen DVR monitor combination. This monitor DVR combo will replace the existing 7 inch screen with a 9 inch display that's operated using touch commands. The DVR will capture survey and video data and take still images and store them directly to a removable micro SD card that's located at the front of the unit. When paired with a tripod and the encoded sheave wheel, the survey footage will be displayed on screen and included on the survey recordings and still images. All video data is stored in an AVI format and still images are captured in a JPEG format, meaning they're readily accessible from all pervasive computer media players. The final accessory that we offer for the SC350 and 500 is the dual view adapter. In situations that call for a view of the side of the borehole that are beyond 10 inches in diameter, this accessory will allow you to connect and control an RCAM dual view camera to the SC350 and 500. This accessory can be added after delivery, however, it does require an RCAM camera to work. Now I'd like to spend some time examining some of the material differences between our introductory level SC350 borehole camera and those constructed by a well-known low-cost competitor. When positioned side by side, it quickly becomes evident that there are some significant material differences in the design and construction of the SC350. For example, all of our cameras utilize robust 304 stainless steel housings in addition to high-intensity LED lights and a wide-angle broadcast quality camera module. The body of the SC350 is designed with a durable metal frame that was specifically engineered to handle the rigors of operating in an outdoor environment. The all-metal reel contains 350 feet of double helixed Kevlar reinforced coaxial cable that's wrapped in a polyurethane sheath and has a 750 pound braking strength. It's attached to a field replaceable cable head. Now compare this to the low cost competitor that's equipped with a non-durable plastic reel and an inexpensive frame, along with non-durable cable and a camera with low intensity LED lights, a plastic housing, and a fisheye lens that contributes to significant distortion of the camera images. This slide highlights the image distortion to an even greater degree. The images on the left were collected from an RCAM 1000 XLT utilizing the same wide angle broadcast quality modules found across our entire line of borehole cameras. The images on the right show the distortion caused by using a fisheye lens as opposed to a wide-angle lens or a dedicated side-view camera. 
Many fisheye lenses have been repurposed from other industries, such as automotive backup cameras, and were never designed to provide the definition and clarity required of a downhole application. Every borehole camera system will require periodic maintenance throughout its service life. One of the most common components that will require replacement is the cable head, the point at which the camera and the real cable connect. Low-cost camera manufacturers require that you send in your entire system to have the camera, not the cable head, replaced. This leads to an expensive and time-consuming repair process. We've manufactured our systems to utilize cable head repair kits that enable the operator to replace his cable head without the hassle and expense of returning the system to the factory. For more information regarding the products discussed in this presentation, please visit LavalUnderground.com. For information on our complete line of well rehabilitation products, please visit boresaver.com. Do you have a specific product question? Send us an email at our general mailbox at info at lavalunderground.com or send an email to me directly at ehadden at lavalunderground.com. We are also available by phone by calling our offices directly at area code 559-251-1396.